Hello, I want to give a little December update, um, things going on in human design land and things going on in my life. I have a little bit of a cold, so I'm uh, really taking it easy. As an undefined spleen, I always kind of think of colds as a necessary adjustment for my immune system, getting new information. I know that Ra said the undefined spleen, it's actually natural and, and healthy for them to get colds because it allows them to kind of adapt and adjust. And, and the, the important thing is that they don't try to push through the cold, but they actually use that as downtime. So that's what I'm doing, and I, I won't be talking too long because I want to rest my throat as well. But um, yeah, just a few updates. We just finished the High Desert Human Design Winter Respite. It was really fun. We had about 25 people at different times. We did leather working, hikes, uh, trip to hot springs, happy hours, movie nights, card games, board games, DJ, dance party. I mean, we had a lot of fun. Uh, that's probably why I'm a little bit sick now. <laughs> I've been kind of burning the candle at both ends. And uh, yeah, it, it was just a really sweet time. So if you have the chance to make it to a future uh, winter respite. I highly recommend it. They are free, and you just have to be in Santa Fe at that time to be included. So it's not really, um, it's not like the HDHD main event that we have, uh, which will be in September, I think September 18th this year. So uh, yeah, well, I'm a little sicker than I thought. Now that I'm, now that I'm starting to talk, I'm starting to hear my own congestion. Uh, you know what really helps is Topo Chico. I love Topo Chico. But yeah, just wanted to give a couple updates. Uh, I wanted to mention, give a shout out to the Human Design Rave Festival. So I had a conversation with the organizer a, a couple weeks ago and just really um, happy to see other people putting on conferences, festivals, events, it really looks like a good one, a really great lineup. I love their marketing and their um, graphics and, and images are just so fresh and hip. It just kind of makes me happy to see. HumanDesignRaveFestival.com, you can check out. That'll be next month. It's in about five weeks, so January 17th to the 22nd. It is in Bulgaria. But you can uh, you can also tune in online. They, they sell online tickets, and then they also have a lot of online um, people there. Let me check out who is on. So they have a main stage, maximum capacity 250, and a second stage with capacity 20, uh, organized by Julia Krakova, that's who I spoke with, Veronica DeBoer, and Julia Fruchtenbein. And then, uh, let's see, it is... To be there in person is 555 euros. Uh, to be there online is 444 euros. So not cheap, but there's nothing else like it in the world, right? So um, it's, it's, it's kind of, if you are passionate about human design, uh, and you know, I, I'm, I'm interested as well. I have a hard time being online too much. I have a hard time doing too many Zooms. I teach my Zoom class already, so... I'm not likely to sign up unless I can go in person. I think it's by 2946. But uh, yeah, I see they have Linda Bunnell online, Ruth Brendan online, Peter Schober online. So they have a lot of online people, the big names. Um, but then there's some people in person as well. I'm kind of just scrolling through to see who I... Therese Jagersberger online. Nisarg will be live. Very cool. Peter Berv online. Uh, Jakub Stratetsky will be online. So it looks like it's predominantly online, at least for the big names. Um, but, uh, you know, that, that does give you access to all the recordings, and so you can watch it. So it looks like they have 40 speakers. Pretty cool. And uh, they also have a kind of more affordable ticket as well that you can, that you can get. Either way, it just looks like a lot of fun. I mean, I would love to go there in person. That's that's what I would be 
mostly into because 2946 experiential adventure i can't sit through 40 hours of zooms i mean i i do so much zoom already and when i do consume audio it's typically raw uh, although every now and then i'll get into someone else i'll listen to some alloc audios or things like that but or genoa ah wow i'm a lot sicker than i thought i really uh, really didn't realize when i started this little recording that I am quite under the weather. But yeah, definitely check out humandesignravefestival.com. They just have a really nice design. I'll go ahead and share that. Very, very fresh design. I love this cut-up style and the colors and all of it. It's just really good. So definitely worth checking out. The other person I wanted to give a shout-out to is Alex Negrete, who did a really cool past life regression, which is actually like an understatement. What Alex does, he uses the quantum the quantum techniques of Dolores Cannon, QHHT. So QHHT, quantum healing hypnosis, and uh, the quantum healing hy hypnosis technique. But it's not just past life regression. It's actually going into a deep visionary state where you have access to uh, connecting with your guides, things like that. And Alex is just incredible. So check out alexnegrete.com, A-L-E-X-N-E-G-R-E-T-E. -E -E. I was really blown away because I've done some Akashic Records work and things like that in the past, but this was really profound. We had about five or six different scenes over around six hours great conversations before and after. Alex sent me transcripts and, you know, uh, actual recording so I could listen back to some of it. And uh, really profound. I actually had a, a very deep sense of comfort during that. Some of it was heavy, you know, some of it can be emotional. It, it can make you cry or it can make you feel things that you felt that your personality has felt in different lifetimes and that have left echoes in this left in this lifetime or have left impressions on you. So it is powerful work. Uh, I actually got to go to Shambhala during that, which was really special, and work with Sanat Kumara, who is kind of my, my chief that I follow. So uh, very special. But I definitely recommend checking out Alex Negrete, and then besides that, there's a lot of updates on Signpost. I really want to go into them, but I think I'm just a little too sick, so I think I'll just leave it at that. But we've been doing a lot of really fun work on Signpost, adding new content. We now have James Alexander doing weekly chart analysis and Q&A, going deep into Magic Square and tons of nuance there. We've been doing the Human Sign Catalyst every week, which is now a Signpost event. We have weekly transit reports from Richard Corbett. We have four hours a week of audio content from Michael steenbeck Littman, where he's been interviewing people like John and Amy, who are just guests on his show, and Brynja Magnuson. We also have two hours a week of audio content from James Deeds, where he just interviewed Richard Beaumont. Uh, we are adding a radio program from uh, Monique San Pedro. We have Brandy Jordan. Um, we have a lot of just kind of ad hoc things. Oh, we have Abe and Janica doing a weekly business, like entrepreneurship support and really working hands-on with people on their business. I mean, really, it seems expensive for $100 a month, but then you realize you're getting like so many hours of coaching. It's actually the best now because we're small enough that you can pretty much get like free readings every week and free Coach, I mean, not free, but it's, it, it, you know, very, very affordably. I mean, for only, you know, for $100 a month, you're getting over 40 hours of potential content, which is just incredible. Um, I do keynoting sessions. I'm always on Mike's show. It's kind of chiming in. I jump in on a lot of shows. Um, I'm really liking the audio format, too. So we probably are about 70, 30, or 80, 20 Zoom to Discord right now meaning that around 80% of our content is on Zoom, so the majority of it is Zoom. And I'm fine with that. I mean, I do a lot of Zooms, but and it also makes sense when you're doing a lot of chart analysis and hands-on and group discussion and stuff. 
but I really like Discord audio because I can leave it on like the radio and just do stuff around the house. So it's become part of my daily ritual to kind of turn on audio and, and work. And on Tuesdays, I tune in to Mike. We also have Mark Germain on Tuesdays and on Thursdays. Mike on Tuesdays and Thursdays. James on Wednesdays. We're adding uh, Monique San Pedro. I think that'll be... She's going to do a late one for our uh, European folks. She'll be doing like midnight our time, which will be, or I think midnight East Coast, which will be, uh, you know, like 6 a.m. Or, or 8 a.m. or something in Europe. So, yeah, it's been really good. Lots more updates there. I've been working a ton on it, but I think I'm just a little too sick, so I will leave it at that. But if you do want to see what we're up to on Signpost, go to signposthd.com to check that out. I also have a video on here where I've taken some clips so you can kind of see what, uh, what we've been up to. All right. Thank you so much, and I'll do another update soon when I'm feeling a little better. Thanks.